So it's actually happening guys. Oh my god, what a pleasant surprise to me to be in an ordinary day scrolling on YouTube to find that the official Tomb Raider channel announcing Tomb Raider 4, 5 and 6 remastered to be released in February 14. Guys, Tomb Raider is a very important game to me and it's hold a very special place in my heart. And it's always been the source of motivation and the reason for me to do new things and sometimes to think outside the box like the remasters that we get this year for Tomb Raider 1 and 2 and 3 was the reason that I started to do playthroughs in my channel and looking back to that I see that this is one of the greatest decisions that I made because guys I had a lot of fun playing those games and I got the opportunity to meet a wonderful people from the community uh, which is I consider as a friends and family now and I'm still doing playthroughs and it's all started with Tomb Raider. So here I am again guys doing my first reaction video for another Tomb Raider remasters. Which actually I was doubting if they're gonna ever remaster uh, those three games. And the reason for my doubts is actually because those three games came from a strange and weird era for Tomb Raider and Core Design, the team behind it. The team was burnt out and they were so tired of doing a Tomb Raider game every year. And it's kind of reflected in their games in a way or another. So we got the last revelation, which is uh, a solid and wonderful adventure. And then we got Tomb Raider Chronicles, which is a quite short game. It's not a full Tomb Raider adventure. It's more like a combination of uh, stories and backstories that have been put together, which is I love and I enjoyed so much. And I always wish that it's longer. Uh, but anyway, it didn't get uh, good reception from the audience back in the day. And then we got Angel of Darkness, which is uh, which been called by so many as a disaster and a terrible game, because it's been rushed out and it's been released incomplete, full of bugs and glitches, and it's had bad controls, and there's a huge amount of cut content that's been scrapped and never see the daylight. So yeah, guys, I can't wait to see how they're gonna deal with Angel of Darkness and how they're gonna reintroduce it with this remaster. What they're gonna keep and what they're gonna add, like, I, I have no idea how they're gonna do it, but I just can't wait to see it, guys. And I'm so happy that there's someone there at Embracer Group that keep pushing the classics to the spotlights again and to put them in the map, regardless of Crystal Dynamics' effort to cancel and erase classic Lara and classic Tomb Raider um, and like all their tries of adding hate and grudge toward it so yeah regardless of all this we're still getting more of this timeless classics guys and we're gonna dive again into those wonderful adventures so let's watch the announcement trailer and let me react to it okay let's watch oh my god guys Time to put things right. Yes, please, put things right. Oh. oh my god, guys. Tomb Raider Last Revelation is so amazing, long and difficult, but I love it. I can't believe that I'm seeing this. Oh. The Louvre. Got a feeling this isn't quite what it seems. Oh my god, look at this outfit, guys! Oh my god, I love cat suits on Lara, and this looks stunning. Give a girl a break. Give a girl a break. No, I'm not gonna give you a break. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. February 14, I can't wait, and I wanna watch it again. But this time, I'm gonna do some comments. So yeah guys, this is the first time that we're gonna get uh, to see the young Lara uh, remastered and I can't wait to see how she's gonna look in the remaster. And there's something very cool about Tomb Raider Chronicles that it's introduced a very unique and wonderful locations like this spooky island and Rome and uh, this high-tech building. Um, yeah guys, oh my god, let me watch. <laughs> And for uh, Angel of Darkness graphics, I I feel that it doesn't need to be remastered because it's already look like the remastered graphics. So like this is the Hall of Seasons uh, from Angel of Darkness, and 
for me it doesn't look different from the original uh, i don't know what about you guys uh, which is uh, not a bad thing because it looks stunning still looks stunning and i think that maybe they focused their effort more on fixing the glitches and the uh, bugs and the controls i don't know if they're gonna enhance the stealth because it's had like kind of semi stealthy but useless uh mechanic uh in it i wish that they enhanced that uh, as well like i wish that they complete the whole experience of angel of darkness and add all the cut content because there is a, a section in brog the city of brog which is meant to be larger and had more um, tasks to do but it's been cut and there's uh, a chapter when she traveled to turkey and that's been scrapped entirely from the game i really wish that we can see that and angel of darkness is also meant to be a trilogy that's uh, as well we never seen that happening so yeah i i know that this is a high hopes but i wish that they can complete angel of darkness Yeah, and here there is a very fun fact that uh, during the development of Angel of Darkness, the developers was trying to avoid copyrights issues. So they had to modify uh, the Mona Lisa uh, painting. So they put the face of one of the composers at a time. His name is uh, Peter Connolly. So if you look at the Mona Lisa face, it's uh, actually Peter's face, which is funny. And it's an Easter egg and they just skipped it. I love that. Time to put things right. Yeah, there's something about her model in Angel of Darkness. Uh, I mentioned that in the comments, guys, for you, but uh, I wanted to see it to say that uh, here again. There's something off and uh, look weird about this uh, model, and uh, I see that the original model of uh, Angel of Darkness was look way better than this one. But I'm pretty sure that they're gonna fix it. I trust uh, Aspire. Uh, there's genuine fans that working on this uh, remasters, and I'm sure that they're gonna. They still have the time to fix it. But for me, this one, like the skin colors, her face expression, her lips, there's something off about it. So yeah, I hope that they're gonna fix that. Yeah, look at the sands, guys, and look at the statues, how it's now like uh, an official 3D models instead of uh, the textures. Yeah, the traps, guys. And there's something as well I love that uh, they kept the original greenish colors of her tank top here because in Top Raider 4 it was more like a green than bluish. And as well, it had more opening from the chest. I'm glad that they didn't censor that because they don't want to make Kristen Dynamics get mad. So I'm just glad that for the attention to details and keeping everything loyal to the original source. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun with the last revelation. I love those levels. And I can't believe, guys, that this is happening. Oh. Got a feeling this isn't quite what it seems. And this, oh my god, guys. Look, this is what I love about Classic Lara. Like, her body structure is so uh, athletic and it's so fluid and flexible. And, uh, like, is it shameful to say sexy now? Because Crystal Dynamics is gonna get mad if, I, if we say that. It's unlike uh, Crystal Dynamics Lara, which is so bulky and it doesn't look like an adventurer body. Uh, it's look so much rectangular shape. I don't know, but look at this, guys. Look at this cat suit on her. And here I see that they stick with uh, uh, cutscenes models because in the cutscene, her glasses like this, uh, yellow and transparent. And in game, it's all of a sudden become black. Um, but I remember as well that this suit was covering until the top, until like her neck. Um, I'm gonna look online onto the outfit. Here we go, see guys, it was covering until the neck. And this is the black glasses. Oh, okay, so in the cutscenes it was quite different though. 
it was like half an more like opened from here and it's had a zipper and this glasses so yeah uh, yeah for some reason in in the cutscenes uh, the outfits kind of look different than the in-game and speaking of that oh my god guys at the beginning of Tomb Raider Chronicles uh, it started with a cutscene when Lara in the Oprah house and wearing this dress and then uh, when the game started all of a sudden we see her wearing her uh, classic outfit which does not make sense but I think due to the limitation of the technology at the time maybe they wasn't able to make uh, the dress uh, playable in game but I'm 100% sure that in this remaster we're gonna get her to be playing wearing this dress and that's gonna be awesome guys oh my god because they did that in Tomb Raider 2 uh, remaster in one level which is nightmare in Vegas they bring back the uh, leopard print outfit just for one level yeah this one yeah and oh my god guys I was so happy when they bring that because I feel like they are so loyal and they are putting so much effort on satisfying us so I'm sure that they're going to bring the dress and they can't wait and I love this outfit too guys uh, here she's in a submarine and like Cold War and those things uh, so this uh, camouflage outfit it's gonna look something I feel like it's gonna look like that and the remaster and uh, young Lara as well where's young Lara here yeah we're gonna see this remastered as well and it's gonna look something like that <laughs> yeah guys I can't wait to see how those levels and this is gonna look like and actually I don't care about how this is gonna look um, I don't know guys if you ever watched the Netflix show The Legend of Lara for me I'm just like I lost interest of everything that Crystal Dynamics is doing because it's really disappointing and it's pity because uh, for me as a person who loves Tomb Raider I always get so excited over everything Tomb Raider but after the Crystal Dynamics disappointments I lost interest which is something sad <laughs> that I'm not interested about anything Tomb Raider new Tomb Raider things unless they get flopped enough to be fired and they hire another team so we can get uh, a Tomb Raider game that we appreciate but for now we are enjoying the the remasters guys give a girl a break set awesome like i don't know why crystal dynamics name is in here they have nothing to do with this but anyway so yeah guys this was my reaction my first reaction video for uh, tomb raider 4 and 5 and 6 remasters that we're gonna get uh, early next year and i can't wait guys to put my hands on them and they start to do playthroughs and share all that again with you guys and diving into this timeless adventures so let me know guys in the comment down below did you already pre-ordered uh, the remaster and how excited you are about it and let me know if you ever watched the netflix show uh, legend of lara and uh, if you do watch it let me know how do you feel about it do you like it do you not do you commend it and as well let me know how i did in my reaction video did i did good or bad or ugly <laughs> um so yeah guys, I will be catching up with you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and have a wonderful day.